Hi, today we're going to take a look at a product that we have been using for quite some time now. This is the Seconix C800 spectrometer, and we're going to see what it can do. Today we will be taking a look at a product that we have been using for well over a year now here on Lensvid and it has become one of the most important tools in our arsenal. On this video we hope to explain exactly why and why you might want to own one as well. The C800 is the most recent iteration of Seconic Spectrometer. This device is different than the light meters the company which recently celebrated its 70 year anniversary is typically known for as it is is designed to measure illuminance, analyze the light for color temperature as well as provide light quality information that can be used to match different lights. Before we start, this review was not designed to be an exhaustive user guide, there are already some good ones online, but more of a look at the main features compared to the previous generation and a look at how and why we use it for our own work. Back in 2017, we tested the previous version of the spectrometer, the Seconic C700, and in many respects, this unit is still a fantastic tool even today and we suggest that you check that review as well. We're not going to repeat some of the more basic things that we covered on that review about the operation of the unit, which is fairly similar to the C800. It is worth mentioning, however, that our C700 still works just as well as the day that we got it about five years ago. These devices are really built to last. With the introduction of the C800 in 2018, several important improvements have been introduced that provide users with information that was never available at the consumer or prosumer level up until that time. Let's start with what didn't change. Externally, both the original C700 and the C800 are pretty much identical, which is mostly a good thing as they are both robust and fairly simple to use devices, although we do have a few reservations which we shall discuss later on. Turning both devices on, we can see that unlike the C700, the C800 doesn't require the annoying dark calibration every time you turn it on after a period of not using it, which seems to happen exactly when you want to get a quick reading and slows you down. Both devices have the power button and memory save button on the left and the measuring button on the right. It took us some time to discover that, but you can actually make a continuous reading by holding the measuring button down. The light receptor part on the top of both units twists in both directions, which is very useful. The main screen looks similar, but upon closer inspection, you will notice that you now have 12 icons instead of just 9, with all of the new measurement methods added to the C800, which includes the TM30, SSI, and TLCI, as well as the new CRI comparison mode. The most used icon on both devices, at least in our case, is the text icon which displays all the measurement results in a text format. Just like with the previous unit, you have 5 slots that you can change in order to show the specific results. We have suggested to Seconic to include the option to add pages so that you can see more than these 5 results quickly especially since there are now a lot more of them and the only option to see them all is to constantly switch icons or download the info into the computer. We would be remiss if we didn't mention that both the C700 and C800 use resistive touch displays which can be used with gloves and might be a bit more resistant to dust and water spray but are less touch sensitive and we find ourselves having to reclick icons from time to time for our selection to be registered. If this happens to you, try using your fingernails to press the screen. The C800 also kept the outdated mini USB connection for transferring data to the computer. At this point, we would really like to see a USB-C and even more so some sort of wireless connectivity, which we shall discuss later on. Hearing the results on the computer means that you need to connect the mini USB to the computer, you will need to get a cable as the unit doesn't come with one for some reason, and using the software which you can get from the Seconic website, download the data that you saved on the unit and view it as images or in a spreadsheet form. This method is fine if you're not in a rush and we have used it to collect and display information for all file lighting reviews here on Lensvid for the past year or so. 
but if you're in the field, getting the full data recorded by the device can be a challenge. With a C800, we can now finally measure different types of RGB lights, which have become much more common in the last few years, and we have tested quite a few of them since we got our unit. Just keep in mind that when testing RGB lights, some readings will always register as under or over. As we have mentioned, maybe the most important changes with the C800 is the new measurement methods included in this unit, which are meant to be more accurate than CRI. These include TLCI or TLCI. LMF, TM3018, and SSI. Just as we were getting ready to finish this video, Gerald Undone posted a video talking in depth about the differences between these measurement standards, so if you're into the really nerdy stuff, feel free to check his video. In brief though, CRI and to a degree TLCI are based on a comparison of the reading to a small number of known colors. And it seems that some lighting manufacturers have learned how to rig the system and in some cases have a light produce a CRI reading of 95 and up for a light which isn't really that color accurate. To get more accuracy, the TM30 system was developed which uses 99 colors as well as a reading of saturation. This method produces two readings, RF for the color which goes from 0 to 100 and RG for saturation which goes from 60 to 140 with 100 being the sweet spot. While TM30 is certainly a far superior measuring method compared to CRI, it is still based on the human vision. Here comes SSI or Spectral Similarity Index into the picture. This relatively new method developed by the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences was specifically developed in order to address issues with CRI and TLCI. SSI is not based on human vision and it also does not assume any specific spectral sensitivities. Instead, it compares the spectrum of the test light to a reference light source with a result measured in a scale that goes up to 100, which will basically mean a perfect match. The way that we use our C800 to test SSI is by comparing each light that we test to either CIE D55 or Daylight to 3200 tungsten standard sources stored on the C800 list. SSI was designed from the ground up as a comparison tool, so you can also use it to compare a new light to an existing light that you have and see how well they match. As we have noted, like with the TM30RF, the range of the reading goes from 0 to 100, with the later being a perfect match. Just a note, most of the light that we have tested so far rate in the low 70s compared to a standard daylight. It will be interesting to see when LED lights will reach 80 or even 90 daylight SSI scores. The C800 is an extremely versatile device and professionals use it in a variety of situations. We can never cover all of them here, but we can share how we use the C800 and while our use case is somewhat unique, we think that at least part of what we do with this unit might be relevant to some users. As a review site, the C800 is our primary tool for testing lights and we test a new light at least once a month if not more. While this does not necessarily apply to most photographers and gaffers, knowing your gear and how it performs, especially if you often rent lights or buy new ones, is usually important and can save a lot of headache in post-production. The C800 can really help when trying to work with several different lights at the same time. There are a number of ways of doing this using gels and the C800 can give you the exact one that you need, but you can also use it to correct green or magenta in your lights if they support this function. If you want to learn more about this, Robert Machado has two very useful videos on this topic worth checking out. One thing that we have been doing since we started using the C700 is checking the exact color temperature before we start shooting and setting the camera to the right temperature. Remember, the fact that you set your lights to a certain color temperature doesn't mean that this is exactly the color temperature that you will get. And lights can sometimes be several hundred Kelvin over or under the setting that you entered, especially when using diffusion. 
Although most of our work for Lensvid and on our food and product commercials is done in-house in our studio, we do sometimes work on other locations. We recently consulted to a dancing studio who started to produce their own videos and the C800 was precisely the tool that we needed to help them understand the problems that they were having with the lights, something that we could not do in any other way. As we hope you have seen, the Siconic C800 is an extremely capable and versatile unit with a host of capabilities and benefits. We would highly recommend this unit to anybody who works professionally on set and needs to know the precise illuminance, color temperature and light quality of the lights in the scene. Does this necessarily limit the target audience to Hollywood productions and high-end commercial work? Well, in our opinion, no. We believe that a lot of independent filmmakers and video productions who operate in different lighting conditions and different lighting setups will find the C800 invaluable for what they do, just like we do. So, do we recommend the C800 to every video shooter? In theory, yes. In practice, however, many will find its price tag well over what they can afford and that might be the biggest drawback for this otherwise fantastic tool. But we can promise you one thing. If you do choose to invest in one, you're not going to regret it and it will serve you for a long time. As for pricing, the Siconic C800 currently sells for $1600 on the company's website. Before we wrap things up, on our full article on Lensvid, we have a short epilogue on what we think should be the future of spectrometers by Siconic. So feel free to check that out and if you agree with us or have some other ideas, let us know in the comments. So that was our look at the Siconic C800 spectrometer. You can check out the full review on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this. See you next time. Hello, Let's check it out. Mm, let's check it out. This reflection makes me look like Mr. Spock. Doesn't it? I am Mr. Spock.